You ready? Who we got with us today? I'm Aisha, Aisha Arsene. Um, I walk the more, I go to Salamas and I um and I get um seven seven hundred dollars a month and my age is fifty one twelve tree in St. Louis Avenue and about a month I have I keep give it to the next um store and I just get a new job and then I'll be at the small shop at forty one thirty nine tree in a dumpster somewhere then because I don't have enough income and I'm Aisha. I used to walk through the ice. Tell us about um, where you grew up. How I you grew, grew up? I grew up right there um, in, in Spanish, like where they um, where it's really, um, really, really, really dangerous. They where they shoot and they steal people weed bags and they run off of people cars and carjack people. So I grew up. I watched a lot of movies. I I, 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 um, I um, listen to a lot of songs or whatever, and I go to church or whatever. And always, 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 always meeting people. And I had a foundation. I always go to the Urban League. And I always um, keep up with myself. God always said that about working, um, studying with God, going to church, meeting new friends, hanging out, stay fresh, get fresh items every once in a while. And I always, always, always keep the honest, keep the real with other people. What kind of household did you come from? Single okay, parent? Both parents? Both parents. Both parents. Both parents. Yeah. Apartment in the house. I mean, they got a house, they got a car, and um, they always, always check on me and give me a social security check. And I have one key. I have a daughter named Alicia Girl Arsene, and she look like making good. And I look like Kiki Palmer, and I sing to her. I dance, I sing to church. What do you sing to her? I sing her Ariel Grande. I always sing her Pitbull. Um, I always sing her um, Bulletproof Song. I always sing her Making Good Kiki Palmer. I sing her a lot of songs. What um what did your mom and dad teach you growing up? My mom and daddy taught me how to um art and taught me how to draw uh draw chords, taught me how to do her braids, teach me how to do ponytails, teach me how to do hair, do applications for apartments and um, go to work and do special bills and then drive and just um, clean up clean up my mess, stay out of the business and just grow up, grow up and to be a, a good lawyer. What kind of um what schools did you go to growing up? I went to um I went to Hazelwood East in Spanish like Hazel East uh high school in Spanish like. Did you graduate? Yeah. Um what did you do after graduation? What what after did life take? After graduation I got pregnant, lost my house, lost my car, lost my income, I couldn't find nothing else to um to um work sometimes so I go shopping every once in a while at my mom's house. What uh what paying dollars to go to Walmart, go shopping. And that was in the road, image one. You know, go with some other people, go to my friend's house, go to family members' house, eat, cook, clean, for birthday parties. Um, I just keep it, keep it 100, keep it honest with everybody. You stay true to that self, stay true to me, always be, and they always be patient when they take long to try to pay me back, but I'll just, you know, help them out or whatever, and just keep it pushing to the house or whatever. What? They let me see them and I see them. What did your mom and dad do for a living? My mom and dad are janitor at the Regional Hall Building. Regional Hall Building and Social Security Office since I was eight years old. And they clean and they, they, uh, they do janitor work. They clean the whole building up. And they've been working there since I was five. Okay. Um, what jobs have you had um, um, since uh, leaving high school? At, I had the um, only house, housekeeping home health care at Deer Valley Home Health. How long did you do that? I did that since I was in, um, since 2012, I did home health care. And then I uh, got a lunch from 2017 and found my test. So right now I'm just, just skip, skip it, skip it, hop, ready to uh, order me, order me a new food stamp for it. We ready to go to a birthday party. My mom's birthday, my birthday was July, and, uh, July uh, 25th. What, um, what else have you been doing since then? Ever, ever since then, I just, uh, you know, just science, cook, just work, cook, clean, eat, freshen up, exercise, go visit my friend KK, go visit my friends all over the area, go to work, go to Uncle D, my nephew's school, or my big school, pick up my chick, you know, stuff like that, just having fun, just all this time. How have you seen the city of St. Louis change since you've been a little girl? What has changed in the city? The only thing that changed about it is they have a lot of food. 
born easily to have a lot of food born. But congratulations, thank you. Um, do you have any ways you can be contacted, Reese? Do you have any social media yeah, cash I can, out? I can be contacted by walk ups only and um, only cash only walk up, and then I see you or whatever, and you um, hand me a book of stamps or whatever, and uh, that's about it. If you can go back in time, knowing what you know, what would you tell your younger self if you could change things? In I was like, I just have to wear makeup, wear hot mama clothes, like look clothes that don't feed me or whatever, and tell everybody to uh, stay fresh and then protect themselves and always, always speak and always, always go to work. What go churches work did you go to? Um, I went to St. Mount Zion, uh, the White Chapel Church, the Ivy League Church. Uh, West End Church, I would go, you know, uh, Influence Church, I went to uh, New Jerusalem Church, and stuff like that. What, um, what's your relationship like with your mom and dad? Oh, they say my mom and dad is very, 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 very secretive. They always, they always, um, always go to school, they always in education, they always go to college. They are students, and students in Fall Valley, so they were students in Fall Valley, they went to other schools, they went to Evansville. I used to still in school and doing good, better ride. They teach you, they do journalism, they clean up, they do a lot of stuff. What about your brothers and sisters? What's your relationship? My brothers and sisters do the same thing. They work at the WBN Trail, whatever they go to college and the military. We all have our own career. I do my housekeeping, they do housekeeping, you know. They do a lot of uh, a lot of janitory church. What's your relationship like with them? Do you guys contact all, each other? We always cook, clean, go shopping, we sleep around each other. We always uh, go shopping, we always take care, of, like, take, care of, uh, take care of each other. We always watch each other's kids, and we, uh, we just take care of each other. We always go to school, go to work, go home, pay our bills, get out of trouble, go to church, we can, we can, we can, we can, and then they go to work, and then they just go back to the house. So we got a great relationship. We don't argue, we don't fight. We always have fun. What yeah. kind of... What kind of advice would you give a young lady thinking about coming out on the street? What would you tell a young lady? I would tell them to get a job, work, get a work. You go to work and you get a job. And you always, you always be able to take care of yourself. To so take care of yourself, work, 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 get a job. When you come out the street to get you a job and you have somewhere to go, you have somewhere to work for. How do you stay safe out here? I stay safe by, by uh, catching the bus. If it's any, bus, if it's anything bothering you, just catch the bus. If there's anything you want to say in closing, anybody looking for you, worried about you, wondering if you're okay, now's I want to say love, mom. Happy birthday. We appreciate you taking time out with us. And if there's anything else you want to say, you can say it. Love, my mom. I love you, mom. Thank you.